مصاحبه سفیر پیشین آمریکا در مراکش تلویزیون ام اس ان بی سی اول نوامبر 2013 مالکی راه حل نیست و قطعا بخشی از مشکل بوده است سفیر کینزبرگ مالکی نیروهای خود را علیه مخالفان خود و علیه پناهندگان سیاسی ایرانی در اشرف و لیبرتی که آمریکا متحد به حفاظت از آنها شده بود به کار گرفته است بسیار مهم است آمریکا و رئیس جمهور تعیین کنند مالکی باید حفاظت از ساکنان لیبرتی را تضمین کند باید ارسال سلاح از رژیم ایران به سوریه را متوقف کند باید بگذارد سنی ها مجددن وارد دولت شوند This year alone, look at these statistics. The State Department says at least 6,000 Iraqis have been killed in attacks. Joining me to talk about it, former U.S. Ambassador to Morocco, Mark Ginsburg. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. I mean, what options at this point does the U.S. have? What kind of assistance could President Obama provide? Well, the most important thing, uh, Chris, is to understand that al-Maliki is not the solution. He's been definitely part of the problem. He has driven the Sunnis out of his government. He's imprisoned many of them. He's arrested uh, uh, political opponents who are Sunni, not only against them, but also against the Iranian political refugees at Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty, who the United States has pledged to protect. So here he is, hat in hand, coming to the White House for assistance, and yet he himself is the reason why this violence has escalated. Well, let's talk about Iran a little bit, because it was interesting. Al-Maliki wrote an op-ed for the New York Times today, and the word Iran was not in there once. And uh, from the Hill this morning, let me read, analysts will be watching closely to see if President Obama leverages his influence over the Iraqi leader that many are calling a puppet of the Iranian regime. What is the conversation about Iran likely to be like? Well, uh, he, interesting enough, Maliki would like to present himself as the, in, as the mediator of all things between Iran and the United States, which is absurd, because after all, he has been facilitating arms transfers from Iran to Syria in violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Number one. Number two, he's been providing naval intelligence to the Iranian government of U.S. forces in the Persian Gulf. And three, he has escalated the terrorism that is occurring uh, in Syria itself. So uh, for him to come in to ask for this assistance, it's important for the United States and the President to impose conditions. One, Maliki has to guarantee the protection of the inhabitants of Camp Liberty. Two, he has to stop these transshipments uh, of arms from Iran to Syria. And three, he has to permit Sunnis to come back into the government and reconcile the role that Sunnis need to play in, in Iraq or else the sectarian violence is going to cause a complete meltdown. Down in Iraq. Well, let me ask you finally to, to give us your overall assessment of Iraq right now and, and where you think things are headed. Uh, it, it is going from bad to worse. The only way that to prevent the sectarian violence from imploding in Iraq further is to have a reconciliation and a democratic process restored in Iraq, uh, which is going to be key. That's the best thing that we can hope for at this point in time. And Maliki is not the solution. He's definitely the problem. Ambassador Mark Ginsburg, always good to see you, Ambassador. Thank you. Thank you.